Jackson will set back. And Smith rolls to his left. Now has to roll away from the pressure. And he has no place to go. And Tillman throws him down at the 27-yard line. And another possession of minus yards. And, and it's all a result of Pat Tillman staying at home. When, when Keith Smith broke back to his right, Pat Tillman was standing out there waiting for him. Rather than rushing the quarterback and taking himself out of the lane, he just stood backside and waited for Smith to come back to him. Pat Tillman is on the right side of your screen. There he is, right there, just, just waiting for Keith Smith to come back that way. Great discipline by Pat Tillman. Good coaching also. Good scouting. Peyton the punt. High twisting kick, and Redmond will let it go, and it hits the 41-yard line and takes a Arizona bounce and will finally fall dead at the 31. Take a look and see what Arizona State did in the first half. They got it going about midway through the first quarter. You can see first four possessions, punt, 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 punt. Next possession, touch, 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 touch. And that is interesting. They start with a slot left. With Poole in the slot, a single setback back. And Plummer gives to Battle, and Battle tries the right side. It stopped at 33, but he got about three yards on that play, and there really wasn't anything there. Terry Battle for a guy who wasn't expected to start this season, and, and it, it's a classic example of what happens to a guy that just hangs in there and keeps working. You know, as a coach, you run into this disappointment all the time from players who don't get to start. Here you see three TDs today. The ASU record is five, held by a guy by the name of Wizard White. Yep, we remember him, don't we? Leon Berger, ben, Benny Malone, the guy that I played with. Joe Salovey is the injured player. He's been banged up good portion of this year when he's healthy very very solid player out of Pango Pango dad's a math teacher in Pango Pango Sullivan may be playing his last game as a member of the Arizona Wildcats the guy that Dick told me singled out as one of the leaders on defense. Battle this time left side. Tries to step outside. The other thing that Terry Battle has done is he scored 18 touchdowns now on the season. Which for a guy who didn't start the season to tell Rather remarkable. Uh, Sparky. He's one of my favorite mascots. because he doesn't try to shake hands with you. <laughs> Short drop this time. Plumber slant. Oh, what a catch! Oh, my! That was a big-time catch. Simple slant pattern by Keith Poole. One-handed, right-handed grab, and it just sticks. The three Wildcats hanging all over him. What a great, great play this is by Keith Poole. That this is guy's a unbelievable. Big time catch. Kelly Malvo defending on the play. First down at the 47 yard line. Straight back plumber again. Looking deep this time for Poole. Poole has to come back for it and can't get that. Poole is running a little fade. And Plummer, I think, would like to have that ball back. A little, just a little bit underthrown. Poole was outside. Kelly Malvo did a nice job playing the ball. And Poole did a nice job of turning into a defender on his play and going back and not letting Malvo get the ball. Malvo's looking back, got his eyes on the ball, and that's an interception if Poole doesn't come back and defend on it. Good play by both guys on that one. There you see Keith Poole closing in on Aaron Cox. And we're going to have to burn a timeout here as Jake Plummer uh, saw something he didn't like or might have too many bodies out there. He'll call a timeout early in the second half. His team leads it 28 to 7. And we'll be back. 28 to 7 ball game. Arizona State having to burn a timeout early here in the third quarter. Joe Salave incidentally back in the ball game defensively for Arizona. Left a little bit shaken up a moment ago. 
second down and 10. Slot left this time, three wide outs in the ball game. Now Boyer in motion to the near side. Straight back Plummer throws quickly for Lindsey Jackson. Jackson steps outside, he's got room. And tripped up from behind on a fine play by Jimmy Sprott. On what looked as though that might have even gone all the way, as it is a first down and a gain of 12. Simple quick screen to Lindsey Jackson, the guy who hasn't uh, had much action so far tonight. Got some blockers out in front. It's a nice job getting up the field, getting the first down. Ball just short of the 40 yard line. This time out of the eye formation. Two tight ends. And it goes to battle. Battle trying to run the short side. Now tries to bounce out. And he's contained nicely by Van Tune. That's one of the few times they have managed to contain Terry Battle when he's tried to bounce either inside or outside. like Bruce Snyder talking about Terry Battle and we chatted with him yesterday and he said he's, this guy is probably 4'5", four, 4'6", four, until he sees the end zone and then he's 4'2", four, 4'3". Four, Play fake and Plummer will go up. Hit as he throws. Go to the end zone for Poole. He got it! Touchdown with Sun Devils. Kelly Malvo did absolutely everything that he could. And Poole just took it away. Too, because he was absolutely wrecked by Armand Williams right as he threw it. Just a result of great confidence, quarterback to receiver. Kelly Malvo had it completely covered, great position to make the play. He pulled, just took it away, and Jake Plummer gave him a chance. Pretty good drive for Keith Poole, who makes two sensational catches on that drive. He's got two touchdowns. And the try for point is up and good, and Arizona State has now scored on five successive possessions. And they're just not looking back. 35 to 7, the Sun Devils lead the Wildcats. We're coming back.